Hey Internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. Halo 5, 343 Studios is defending their microtransactions. And honestly, I'm going to talk about a bigger topic here rather than just talking about 343 Studios, about the microtransactions thing. And realistically speaking, it's like, or at least just getting my idea out there is the fact of like, listen, I have, I have a very solid opinion about microtransactions, which that honestly, I'm going to come out here and say it. And a lot of people have been saying this as well. We do not have problems with, with microtransactions if they are in free games. Not 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 free cell phone games that try to screw you over with like a like fatigue system and then or put like paywalls everywhere to where that you have to literally pay money just say 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 just to say just to get normal fucking progression. It's to the point where now you have paid games like of course, Halo 5, Destiny, um, Destiny, you have Bat, well, I think Batman had microtransactions in it. I do know that the most infamous one was, um, was Dead Space 3. And pretty much you sort of, and it's slowly becoming a thing to where that it's popping up in just about every game that you have to spend money on or spend these little extra trinkets on just so that you can use this know nothing item that really means that doesn't mean anything. I mean, like looking at like the easy fatality mark for Re for Mortal Kombat 10 and that is a problem. And yes, Payday 2 has microtransactions and yes, and yes, they did go back and say that you don't have to pay money for the drills. The drills are like um, are rare drops. You don't you don't have to pay money to go out and get the drills to open up the safes to get the random items in Payday 2. But you still have to pay money to get them in the first fucking place instead of them just being man, like an item that actually or like a safe that 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 could mean like a like an extra better item or like a double item or two items or some shit like that. It could mean that, but it doesn't. It is you have to pay money to get this item and that has how and that is how a lot of these games have been portrayed so far again if you're playing like a free to play game and 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 or better yet if you are paying a subscription based based game and people are saying like I have a problem with this game because I am spending spending $15 a month to play this game and I get all my shit free or at least like other companies are looking at other companies that do that like Final Fantasy 14 and maybe like the World of Warcraft series and shit like that, you look at that and you say, well, why is it okay for them? Because everything that they give me with that subscription, I don't have to pay extra for. I don't have to pay a $15 a month sub, 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 sub subscription, and I don't have to pay like like an extra like 30 bucks just to get this random ass item that, that, that really doesn't mean anything or doesn't do anything or could have just been in the fucking game man to um, uh, begin with. I mean, Destiny has 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 fucking emotes in which that you can like buy with the uh, silver and and I get why they want to defend this. I get why they put this in there because either A that they're being made to or B they just feel as though as that they're going to get way more money from it. Either way, it's a dumbass idea because because for one, okay, cutting out content and stitching everything together and calling it DLC is bad enough, okay? Trying, man, to... Trying to give me an item in a game in which that you want me to spend extra money on just so I can have points of silver or I man can use this thing to get my, my materials, it is a dumbass idea because... Because who gives a fuck about emotes? I don't, I don't give a damn about emotes. I mean, like, I rarely use the fucking things to begin with. For fucking, like, my materials in Dead Space, why the hell, man, should I give a fuck about my, uh, my, my materials in, um, uh, um, in fucking Dead Space? I mean, like, if I can, like, just get those freely, if I just kill enemies and they drop these items in which I can use anyway just so I can, can uh, exchange for, for um, uh, the same shit, why the hell, man, would I even pay you money to get that? I mean, like... I mean, like, I'm not sure if this is technically a microtransaction in terms of Grand Theft Auto's case, but, like, why the fuck, man, would I give them money to get a whole bunch of in-game money? Some shit that I could do do if I just do heists. I don't I, I don't get the microtransactions thing. Uh, uh, again, if I play World of Warcraft and they give me items, mounts, mounts, like, upgrade items and rest of this other shit okay fine that 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 is buying me time 
or they are giving me legendary gear, which that I can personally level up and do pretty much whatever I want with. Flip that over to emotes. I'm paying you extra. Uh, I am paying an extra thirty dollars just to point, whimper, cower, clap. Why the hell, man? Why the fuck am I spending money? Money on for that. And yes, they do always throw in the argument of these. Uh, these microtransactions, they don't change anything in the game. You can play the game without them. Then why the fuck are they there? I mean, listen, this is, this is very different from me playing a game and not, and not wanting to upgrade my character. This is very different from me playing, playing, playing a game and never, ever, ever, uh, upgrading a weapon or modding anything. This is very different from that. All I'm saying is, is that, listen, I understand that all of these microtransaction stories, that they are pretty much the fucking same. The only real thing that about, like, um, Halo 5 is that it's taking a page out of the Tomb Raider, um, of the Rise of the Tomb Raider type of deal. And instead of them giving you over, like, 300, like, normal-ass fucking perks that that man should already be in the fucking game, is that they're giving you, is that you have to pay them money for packs for to get items or common use items which that they disappear like after one use or they're permanent because that's how the brand new ones are either way it's all rather silly and dumb and i really and i know that this won't be the last time i talk about this but still just to sort of get the word out there or at least just to sort of let a few people know or put a little bit more grounded feel upon this it's like microtransactions i don't know why this is a fucking thing i really don't because like I mean, like, this is going the way of the fucking season pass. It's there, but it's not serving a purpose. It's just there to just, to, to, to just annoy. But that is what I gotta say about that. Please tell me what you think about this down in the comment section. I'll catch you guys on the next Young Grave show. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.